And now we're going to move to Nogales. More testimony today about George Allen Kelly's assault rifle as his second degree murder trial continues. Kago 9's Craig Smith has been following the case. He's here with an update. The murder trial of Santa Cruz County rancher George Allen Kelly has centered on whether he shot and killed a Mexican national crossing his land or whether his defense attorneys are right when they suggest someone else shot the man. So there was more testimony about Kelly's gun. Sheriff Sergeant Joseph Bunting talked about how he collected evidence at the scene. Looking at where the shell casings fell from Kelly's gun, he concluded Kelly shot once, moved, and shot eight more times. Kelly has said he heard a shot and fired warning shots in return. Sergeant Bunting says he found nothing when he checked Kelly's house for bullet holes that would show if anyone fired towards Kelly. The bullet went through the victim and kept going, so there's no bullet to match to Kelly's rifle. DPS firearms specialist Aaron yes. Brudenell said AK-47s like Kelly's fire ammunition less powerful than many hunting rifles. He said the wound is consistent with a bullet from an AK style of rifle, but it produced irregular wounds as if the bullet had begun to wobble. If a projectile loses its stability for some reason, that bullet may not be uh, pointing nose first when it impacts and it have, will have a different hole pr produced based on the part of the bullet that strikes and the profile as it hits. The victim was hit more than 100 yards from Kelly's house and there was testimony that bullets he fired may have hit trees or brush as they traveled. Jurors will have a chance to see the terrain on the ranch for themselves when they visit the ranch later this week. Craig Smith, KGON 9.